surprised the world with its announcement of the second unmanned mission to moon. So today I will be talking about the same. Now what is the launch date for Chandrayaan 2? The Indian Space Research Organization has unveiled plans for its second unmanned mission to the moon in what would be another milestone in the country's space exploration program. The lunar spacecraft Chandrayaan 2 is scheduled for lift off aboard the GSRV MK3 vehicle, the heaviest rocket built by ISRO at 2.51 hours on 15th of July from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre at Sri Kota in Andhra Pradesh. The announcement by ISRO comes almost 11 years after former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh approved the first lunar mission on September 18, 2008. Chandrayaan 2 will have three modules, Orbiter, Land Rover and Rover. These are designed to carry out various experiments including mapping of the surface, minerals, chemical composition, detection, sparse water molecules above the lunar surface and rock formations. The spacecraft with an estimated weight of 3.8 tons will attempt a soft landing on the moon on either September 6 or 7, adding to the complexity of the mission. If successful, India will join the US, the former Soviet Union and China, the only three nations who have achieved the feat so far. Now what are some of the apprehensions about this mission? Under the nearly rupees 1000 crore mission, the landing on the moon near the South Pole would be on September 6 or 7 on an uncharted territory. The lander named after the father of Indian space program Vikram Sarabhai will touch down on a rugged lunar surface in the final descent which would be the most terrifying moment of the mission. The landing site at about 70 degrees south latitude is the southernmost for any mission not attempted before by any country according to ISRO as the Indian Space Agency intends to make up for the many missed deadlines by breaking records on the moon. For how long has India been planning for this mission? The Chandrayaan-2 mission has taken a long way coming considering that its predecessor Chandrayaan-1 and orbiter mission had been sent way back in 2008. According to the original schedule, Chandrayaan-2 was to be launched in 2012 itself but at that time it was supposed to be a collaborative mission with the Russian space agency Rokosmos which was to provide the lander module. The Russians, however, withdrew from the missions after the similarly designed uh, lander for another mission's developed problem in 2011. That left ISRO to design, develop and build uh, the lander on its own, something it had not done earlier, which has led to considerable delay from the original schedule. How will Chandrayaan-2 function? Chandrayaan-2 consists of an orbiter, lander and rover, all equipped with scientific instruments to study the moon. The orbiter would once again watch the moon from a 100 km orbit while the lander and rover modules would separate and make a soft landing on moon surface. Once on the moon, the rover, a six-wheel solar-powered vehicle, would attach itself from the lander and would slowly crawl on the surface making observations and collecting data. It will be equipped with two instruments and its primary objective would be to study the composition of the moon's surface near the landing site and determine its abundance of different elements. The, uh, the 1,471 kilogram lander, which will remain stationary after touching down, will carry, it will carry three instruments that will mainly study the moon's atmosphere. One of the instruments will also look out for seismic activity on lunar surface. Where the lander and rover are designed to work for only 14 days, the orbiter, a 2,379 kilogram spacecraft with seven instruments on board, would remain in orbit for a year. It is equipped with different kinds of cameras to take high resolution three dimensional maps of the surface. It also has instruments to study the mineral composition on the moon and the lunar atmosphere and also to assess the abundance of water. With this, we come to the end of our video. If you liked our video, do share it and do subscribe to our channel.